Hello, and welcome back to Superliminal. This is a perspective-based puzzle game uh, with a very similar tone to that of the Stanley Parable and the Portal games, um, where you have to use the objects around you in your environment to try and uh, progress. Um, we completed the first like two levels, I guess, technically, in the first video. And uh, yeah, we're moving right along. Um, can't do anything with that. Am I seeing something? No. Okay. All right. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, oh I can do this. To, oh, I got an achievement. Oh man. Oh. Can I? Oh, I can do things with the fire extinguisher and the fire alarm too. I guess. Interesting. Okay. Diet soda, I think, was the next one we wanted. Can I, like, do anything with these sodas besides, like, use them for stuff? Can I drink it? I don't know. Let's go right there. Shrink it down. And put it in the trash. Oh, there's an achievement for that, too. Nice. Um, interesting. Water soda? <laughs> wait, does the mini soda give me... And Wait, okay, random soda. Okay, it's literally just a can of called random soda. Baking soda? Oh, <laughs> oh no, that didn't sound good. Mini soda? Uh-oh. Did I break the machine? Ah, oh, I broke the machine. Whoops, okay. Well, moving on. Let's bring this with us here. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to oh, use an this? alternate pathway to access the next oh, phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped a in a dream state area. paradox instead. <laughs> Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects Whoa. negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Holy crap. This is quite the room. What's the deal with this room? Anything specific? Oh, that's trippy. Can we do anything with... Ooh. Oh, we can break... Oh my god, I'm getting all the achievements in this video. My goodness. Is there something with the constellations at all? That, like, line up? a line there. Interesting. This is quite the room. Oh! I see something. There's something there. Maybe? It like kind of glows when I... Except I'm like right on the edge. Maybe I have to be like over here. Like this side. Maybe on here? Anything over there? No. There's definitely like a lineup. These things are lining. Oh, there we go! A giant coffee mug. What the heck? Is it gonna pop in? Oh. Oh dear. Okay, that fell away. Interesting. We can't actually use that. So then what? I don't even know if I'm really supposed to be in this room for very long. Or if this is just a secret. This is wild. What was the point of that? Okay, well, I think... Let's just try and move on. I don't want to spend an entire episode there as, as much as I would love to. I want to keep things moving. There's a die sign for some reason. Where's that? Okay, this is the next room. Uh, we gotta get up there. Curators only. Can't do anything with that. 
perception is reality. Your friendly doctor, P.S., will get through this. Winky face. March 1991. Okay. Can we just, like, look at this thing? Or something? Oh, there's a die right here. for me. Nope, we're good. We can climb up. Oh, got some game pass points too. Oh, are those fire alarms? Well, I mean, yes, but no. That's a fire alarm. Can I pull this one? I can. There's probably a bunch of them throughout the whole game. You have to find... Oh, another fire extinguisher too. Hmm, yeah, probably more. Oh, uh, can I rotate you? That doesn't do anything past that. Okay. Oh, uh, I see it. Um, how... Probably like that, I would say. It's also... A chess piece? Do we need the chess piece? So, okay, now those are screwed. Oh, another fire alarm. Uh, anything here? No. Oh, there's a, a gap on that side. Interesting. Oh, there's like stuff here too. Can I get over there? I wonder. Hmm. What's the deal? I guess probably nothing. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever match the sizes of these. I'm guessing we probably just need to go like something like that, and then something like that. Will that get me? It will. Okay, cool. Uh, that's not a fire alarm. There's another die. Uh, anything on this wall of note? Other than the notes, let's bring you- oh boy. Um, okay. Oh, there's also a light I can grab. Interesting. Let's see what's over here first. Can I grab this exit sign? No. Another fire extinguisher. Uh, another fire alarm. Do not cross, sweet bee. Okay. Interesting. So we do have to go back. Now I'm wondering... I'm guessing it looks pretty dark, yeah. Uh, can we do this? Can we get like the whole room lit up? Can do that. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this Fashion threshold tip. is eclipsed by entering more dreams, Me. your mind will suffer an explosive Minnesota. mental overload, <laughs> reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to Oops. explosive mental overload. And water soda. Oh, I think that breaks the machine too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with the rest of that constellation room. Do we need? I mean, I'm guessing we'll probably need this. Oh, no, we won't. Interesting. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher back here. Do that all? Nope. All right, let's climb on up. Keep on going. Oop. Uh, like so. Uh... Oh, God. 
those always trip me up. Another fire alarm. What's up here? Some doors, papers, a box. Nothing of note, it seems. Yeah. Anything with that? I don't think so. All right. Oh. Look at those. Okay. Nothing to do with the skylights, I don't think. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Um. And then that. Oh. Oh, do we have... Whoa. Do we have to... Oh, interesting. And then we can do... Oh, no. Can't do that. Okay, then what's the deal with this guy? Anything... Maybe, like... Uh, Perspective-wise? Or maybe I can just... Oh, I can just do that. Oh, okay. Uh, real quick, was there a... No, I don't think so. Just this extinct... Whoop. Just this extinguisher. Oh, this didn't even have a gate, really. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive oh, mental Robert overload Becky. implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more Whoa. traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Right. You got it, lady. Oh. Okay. I was, I was gonna say, into the darkness it goes. Uh, extinguisher. I don't actually... Oh, God. I don't actually know if... Um, can we... How can we rotate you? Like so? Ooh, whoa. Like that? What about this guy? Anything to do with this? Not really. Is this too steep to climb? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to... Hmm. It's close. There we go. I think that might work. Okay, I think that's probably... Yeah, there we go. Got it. Beautiful. Okay, what's the deal with you? That's just a straightforward... Oh, just kidding. No, it's not. Another fire extinguisher. Uh, anything with these? No? Okay. Well, I think this actually should still allow me to continue. Yep. Private. Can't do anything with that. Private again. What's the deal with this? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, and we're going down. Crap. Whoa. Okay. Was that... Oh, this looks familiar. That's the elevator we were in. Did I just loop all the way back around? Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Okay, real quick before we get too carried away. Is there anything... Oh, I can't actually interact with this area. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're moving on. Feeling lucky, so are we. Col Colliculus Casino and Amusements. There we go. Oh, there's that crazy loading screen again. And there's that lovely alarm. 5 a.m. Sweet B. Okay, this looks very familiar again. 
Here's this area. So these are different though, because I oh yeah, there's a radio here. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Pull and despite firearms. touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? I don't know. Let's take a soda. That's the uh, same guy that does the um, the intro thing. The, uh, like, introductory video at the beginning of the game. I had to uh, swap out the music in that one. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, that's true. Oh no. Don't like that. Oh god, this is menacing. Um... Okay, can I do this guy? Oh, creepy. Very creepy. Nothing over here. Apologies if it's very dark. Wow, okay. I love this, like, aesthetic of the, like, mysterious corporate uh, like, complex. It's, uh, it's a really, really captivating, like, setting to me. Like, that's why I like, uh, Stanley Parable so much, and, like, uh, even, like, games like Control nail it pretty well, too. Oh, dear lord. Oh, my god. Okay, we're getting creepy with it. Can I that oh I could just go through there I mean is there anything Ooh, I don't want to oh god <laughs> oh no I didn't expect this game to get creepy oh god okay well moving on I guess oh dear yeah things like the back rooms too are are pretty interesting. Murder. Sunday beans. <laughs> what was the noise? What was that? Like a door shutting or something? Do we have to go through this door? Do we grab this light? No. Is it, is it changing again? Going back and forth? No. Um. Okay. How far? Oh! Interesting. Okay. What's the deal over here? Just a bunch of plants. Got it. Um, yeah, I didn't. I don't think I finished my thought. I had to edit the um, that intro video uh, segment because of copyright for uh, YouTube. Um, thankfully, it. I was able to just go back in and. Um, guess we go through. Oh, God. Go back in and add some uh, different music and stuff and retain the, the audio and whatever. So, and luckily I also didn't lose my progress because uh, there is a level select. So, oh, God. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, God. Okay, there's a big hole. I mean, I guess there's really no other way to go. Does that say murder too? Yep, murder and beans. Lovely. All right, well, here we go. Can I make it? Oh, there was something there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, so how? Oh yeah, there's something right here. Oh, weird. Okay, right there, good. Great, we made it, okay. Ugh. I guess this might just be red paint. Another Hello. stereo. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Glenn. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because oh, you want God. the kind of happy life <laughs> I don't you see like that. 
I you don't know like everyone that. else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Okay. It's nothing but diet soda here. Oh boy. This is very, very creepy. More red paint. Oh, door's shutting behind me. What's the deal? Here, we just keep going. I think I gotta do this, because otherwise I'm gonna get lose my bearings. There's a stairway. I can't grab that. Let's go back, let's go up the stairway. Catwalk here, okay. Back on track, in a, in a sense. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting <laughs> oh yourself God. even further. Yeah, you I am disoriented. for failing to make this crucial distinction. Can I... Oh? How... I have to... Oh, that, that definitely helps. Uh, that'll make it real bright in here. But how... Whoa. Um, yeah, how do I actually get out? Do I just, like, put it here? No. I guess I guess I can actually take this out here. Would that help me at all? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, is it worth bringing this the whole way, or should I just leave it here so I can see? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna need this. I think. Oh. Atmosphere is strong. Strong and creepy. Okay, we made it over here. Let's get a mini soda. Wonder how. No, we don't want to shrink it. Nice, we can make it bigger. We can make it like huge. Can we make it even bigger? Can I read that actually? Made it freaking huge. Nice. Uh, can I get over there at all? Gotta move you, mini soda. Oh, I can grab this. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to go here. Okay. Oh, and another one of these. Hello? No? Wait, yeah, this is a barrier, right? So then maybe I need to... Right there. Something like that. Aha! There we go. It will illuminate the way. Excellent. Oh. Lovely. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less oh. than 1% of patients? This oh, correlates no. strongly with the 99% oh, of gone. patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. Right. Well, I just want to get out of here, lady. Computer lady. Follow the red paint. Idea. <laughs> Nice. Oh boy. God. Oh, that is a loud generator. Okay. Back in business, I guess. Grab anything from the kitchen at all? I don't think so. Nothing of note over here. Yeah, there's a bunch of red paint. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, they're painting the walls red in here. What's what's the deal with uh with this whole thing? 
Notice emergen emergency generator. Okay. Interesting. Oh, can of beans. Wonderful. Can I grab anything else? Don't think so. Can we go even bigger? Let's go bigger. Gotta make it the biggest can of beans we've ever seen. Like that we're able to just phase through. Anything? Cloud insert, protection, symmetrical layout. Hmm. Another elevator? Yeah. Oh, and another fire switch. Fire alarm switch. Oh, are these avocados? What are these? Need tested. Promotes heart health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory. Why? <laughs> Order longer freezer flaps, which is the real one. Cloning. Too many, how many, really? Self-doubt. Divided by worthlessness. All this over some avocados. Alrighty. There we go. Enjoy avocados. Guessing this is the end of that. I would say. Is that lovely loading screen again? Yes. Oh, we got a bunch of them now. Bunch of alarm clocks. Okay. Back in suite. What is this? Suite F? Okay. Yeah. We are going to end this one here as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.